Today I'm going to show you how I built this amazing round, super simple dining table. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so now that I got my lumber, I grabbed a couple 2x4s and started measuring out the base, the legs, and the top of the base that I need to make the lap joints. Now that my boards are cut to length, I find the center, that way I can make the perfect lap joint. So I went ahead and grabbed my crosscut sled and just made some cuts in between the markings I made for the lap joint and then I'm going to get a chisel and just clean it out. This joint is actually very strong without glue, but in order to add more stability, I went ahead and just glued it together. Now that both pieces are complete, I went ahead and grabbed a 4x4 and attached both the top and the bottom to make the beginning of the base. add to the base, I cut eight boards at 45 degrees and angle on both sides. First I tried to attach them using some wood glue and clamps, but then I realized that that was going to be a bit too messy, so I went ahead and countersunk some screws and just ended up screwing all of the angled cuts into the base. Next up is a lot of sanding and then staining. The base is all done and now I'm able to move on to my circle tabletop. So I go ahead and just cut the boards rough length and then I just place them out just to measure and make sure that I'm going to have the length and diameter that I need. So once I have that circle figured out, I go ahead and take each board and square them up and then I'll run them through the planer so that each board is nice and flat and ready to be made into a circle.
I decided to use dowels to join my tabletop together because I had so many pieces and I wanted to make sure that everything was nice and straight. In one of my other videos I showed you how I made a simple circle cutting jig using a piece of plywood and a router, so I went ahead and used that jig and just followed along the path that I had created. Next I took a simple hand plane just to level out some of the high spots on the top. I went around the edges of the tabletop with the router again, but this time I used the roundover bit to create that seamless look. Oh, and don't forget about the sanding. Lots more sanding. Finally moved on to staining, and after staining was completed, I added a couple coats of poly. Once I finished the tabletop, all I had to do was connect the top to the base. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to be the first to receive updates on our newest videos.